Good morning from beautiful Saline Valley. And uh, sitting here waiting for the coffee to get done. Perking away in the background. Sitting here just totally enjoying this view. Look at that, isn't that something? It's just a fantastic view to enjoy in the morning. Creosote bushes are getting ready to bloom. Some of them are already starting to bloom, but they've got tons of blooms on them that haven't come out yet. Soon it will be all yellow on those on those bushes. Anyway, this is really beautiful. So we're off to uh, another hike today. We're gonna go across over to the ridge over here and do our, we've done this hike before. In fact, last time we were here in 2020, we did this hike. I did a whole video on it. So it was, um, I'm not gonna do a lot of video on this one. We've been on it before. And um, what we're gonna do is just do the hike and if I see anything good to video uh, along the way, I'll do it. Where we're going is on this hill over here, it goes over the top. There's a pretty good trail over there once you find it. Okay, now I'm, I'm seeing these flags all over the place. Like that one, there's another one right there. And there's a bunch of them back here. They almost look like a, somebody's laid out a, like a Frisbee golf course. I don't like this. I don't know why you're doing that. If you're watching this video, please take these down. This is bullshit. This is not supposed to be out here. And I don't like it. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to take them down. But I wish somebody would come take these down. This, is, this isn't right. We were just kind of picking our way through the rocks here. There was some semblance of a trail. It got washed out when it was flooding in here, but somebody's come and put a bunch of the Karens in here that really doesn't, isn't necessary. If you just went cross country, you would you could see this trail from ways off as it goes up the hill, it goes up that way. And so it'd be easy enough to navigate cross country to get to this spot. But if you come this way, it's a, Easy to follow the Karens if you're paying attention. Easily distinguished trail. We stopped here to take a picture and I forgot my camera. <laughs> Saw no picture. But you can see the area we're camping in down there. There's a few people. It's not too bad right now, which is nice. Today is Thursday, however, and people will be coming in today and tomorrow. We're on our way out tomorrow, so that's going to be... We'll miss the crowd. There's going to be a crowd here on the weekends. There always is. So, the week... Uh, this time that we've been here has been pretty nice. There's nothing but pretty much old people. <laughs> so, the guy... The guy named Mitch we sat in the hot spring with this morning, he was... He's the same age as I am, and uh, he's a hiking dude. We were taking a break back there, and Karen had this uh, saying that she used that's really appropriate. You aren't going to get there if you don't go. And boy, that's the absolute truth. And if you think about it turning around, if you don't get out and do stuff, you can just stay home and live vicariously through somebody else, but you can get out and live your life too. Laying down there, taking off from the chicken strip. Little tip for anybody that doesn't know it: if you uh, just go really slow and look down at the ground or slightly ahead of you on your trail, don't never look up when you're going up a hill and uh, you just go at a really slow pace and um, never look up and before you know it you'll be at the top and you're not even winded 
And I learned that years ago from a uh, instructor for alpine botany and ecology class I took that was up in Yosemite and put on by a the guy was Dr. Carl Scharsmith. And anyway, he's long since died. And uh, he was like old and decrepit. And we were going up on Kuna Crest, which is like 11 or 13,000 feet. It's way up there. Uh, so his whole, when we saw him, we were thinking, oh, this guy is never gonna make it. And uh, it turned out he taught us all how to hike up hills. And this is it, slow. Never look up, and then just take a slow pace. Most people go way too fast, burn themselves out, have to sit down and blow for a while. You know, if you just do this really slow, one foot at a time, kind of like a 12-step thing, <laughs> before you know it, you're there. I'm not even going to look up, but I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, the trail goes right down there. Kind of make it out to drop into the wash when you're downhill from there. I kind of can, thought about going up this way, going up this canyon. And we could do that. There's, I think it's a box canyon. I don't think you, you have to climb out of it at the head. But we're going to take the downhill section here. It's better and it comes out over by the chicken strip. We don't know what this is, but it sure looks pretty. Nice and green. And we do know what that is over there. That's Desert Holly. Oh, let me get out of there. Well, we, get, we made it back, and i um, sitting here in the shade. 90 degree day. Last one we're gonna see for a while, I bet. Anyway, it was a long, long walk. Karen's pretty well bushed. Here she is. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> she was, that was a tough hike for her. Every one of our hikes this year has been tough hike so far. Mostly because we're out of shape. <laughs> so, the heat. The, yeah, well, there's some heat involved too. I mean, we went from cold winter to down here it's in the 90s today. So, I mean, that's a, we didn't get acclimated, that's for sure. Anyway, it was a fun day. We're back and now it's shower time. Well, we went and got our showers. It was glorious. And uh, here we sit, our last evening here. Uh, it's not evening yet, it's uh, only 4.30. But um, just enjoying this view. It's just one of those views that just doesn't get old. Well, here we sit in the morning, um, getting ready to go, kind of packing up. Uh, we're getting out of here. There's a storm coming in to the west coast, and uh, we don't know exactly what that's going to do to our commute or our trip home, but it doesn't matter. We'll just deal with whatever we get, but we'll see how that goes. First, we got to get out of this valley, which is going up North Pass, and it's a uh, pretty slow go. So we won't be getting out of this valley until midday at least. But it's uh, it's about 7:30 right now. We're getting ready to. We're having some coffee and bowl of cereal, and then buzzing, you know, swatting flies, bugs, and having a good time, right? <laughs> Went and did a little soaking this morning. Um, got a good morning soak in, and now we're ready to hit the road. Well, sadly, we're on the road. It's always a sad time to leave this place. 
What do you think, babe? Yep. Oh, I look so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, now for the long, slow drive out of here. It's a. Uh, some people make it a lot quicker than I do, but we are going to go slow and not tear up our vehicle. And enjoy the view along the way. Well, here we are getting to the pavement, meeting all kinds of people here too. But we got uh, four and a half, uh, four hours and 23 minutes it took us to get here. Now we're, uh, we just passed some more folks. There's a couple of jeepers there. They're getting ready to come down this road too. I'm more. glad we got out of here when we did. But anyway, four and a half hours for us to get here. Well, this was a great trip. We uh, had beautiful, sunny, pretty much summer weather while we were down there and much to Karen's chagrin. <laughs> And uh, anyway, it was a great trip, and um, the um, constant stream of traffic we've seen heading back in there today uh, means it's going to be a real busy weekend back in there in, in Saline Valley. So, kind of glad we left. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.